to the president, faculty, staff, and board of Muhlenberg College, thank you so much for the honor of this honorary degree. I am deeply grateful. To the students, the graduates actually, and your families, congratulations. You made it. It's a big day. I want you to remember something. You can do hard things. I mean, did you ever think you would have to navigate through a pandemic to get to this day? Write term papers, yes. Pass finals, yes. All of that. But a pandemic? This thing snuck up on us. And yet you made it. You arrived. You achieved. You can do hard things. On this graduation day, I want to focus on hope. The hope that comes from knowing you can do hard things. The hope that is in Bob Dylan's great prose piece, Last Thoughts on Woody Guthrie. I love this piece because it raises two great questions about hope. Number one, where are you going to find it? And number two, who's going to find it in you? See, Dylan was also a young person trying to find his own way, thinking he had something to say but not quite sure how to say it. Here's how he begins the piece. When your head gets twisted and your mind grows numb, when you think you're too old, too young, too smart, or too dumb, when you're lagging behind and losing your pace in a slow motion crawl of life's busy race, it all can feel that way sometimes. I mean, there's a lot of valleys in life. There's a lot of valleys, times of despondency. So what do you do when you're in one of those times and you still have this feeling, this kind of faint heartbeat that you have something to give and contribute? Here's how Dylan puts it. There's something on your mind you wanna be saying. There's somebody someplace ought to be hearing, but it's trapped in your tongue and sealed in your head and it bothers you badly when you're laying in bed. What's gonna untrap that gift? What's gonna unlock that contribution? Dylan goes through a bunch of things that are not gonna help in his view. He says, you're not gonna find it in the dollar bill. You're not gonna find it on Macy's windowsill. It's not gonna be on some kid's roadmap or some kid's fraternity house. It's not gonna be made in any Hollywood wheat germ. He's got a long list of where to not look for the hope that you need to unlock your gift or the hope that somebody else might find in you. Dylan finds his in the most unlikely place at Brooklyn State Hospital where the great folk singer Woody Guthrie is in his twilight years. I love that image because there's the sense that there's different places for all of us to find hope. Different places for all of us. Dylan's was at the bedside of his hero as he was fading away into the next world. It raises the question, where are you going to find yours? There's this great line in the work of the Grateful Dead. Once in a while, you can get shown the light in the strangest of places if you look at it right. Where are you going to find your hope? Constantly ask yourself that question and better yet, find answers to it. Dylan ends the poem in a place where he thinks all of us can find hope. And I love this idea that there's places that are distinct to each of us for hope and there's places that are common to all. There's a beautiful line by the writer Aimé Césaire that there is room for all of us at the rendezvous of destiny. Where's the place where all of us can find hope, Bob Dylan says? In the Grand Canyon at sundown. I have this image of all of us, all of humanity, meeting each other at a place that we all know is beautiful, that we all know is sacred, and in which we all see each other as such. The Grand Canyon at sundown. I'll see you there. Thank you so much.